so. You're in room five. No, silly, no. We don't do that. We don't let patients out because they hate this place. You're supposed to hate this place. Is this is supposed to be a fun time and a fun place. Because here you're supposed to learn to not want to try to do anything to anybody and stuff like that. You came to this asylum because why? You like watching people eat supper. That's normal. So why are you here? Oh, ew, yeah. You don't want to kill people. That's disgusting, man. You don't want to do that. I don't know why you said you would want to do that because I know you don't want to actually do that, okay? I know you don't. I know you don't want to do that. Eek. We're cooking supper right now. Anyway. Yes, it's for you guys. Though, uh, I need to get you close up here. Yeah, okay. Let me see. Okay, I just have to, you know, see if everything's okay on your face. I don't know. It's just something they make me have to do. You know, when I work here. Okay, that's okay. What about your mouth? Get your mouth here. Okay, your mouth's okay. Your upper your little bottom lip. Get your upper lip. Okay. Alright, um, I need to pull down your eye. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on your face. You tell me if it hurts. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't hit me, please. I'm just, a, I'm just a little boy. I can't believe they're making me do this on a very serious inmate. What the freak were they thinking? You shouldn't hire people. No one's going to want to do this to, what's your name, Braxton? Braxton Punch, wait, your name's, you're Braxton Puncher. That's why you're here. I've heard about, oh, I've heard your stories. They're pretty stupid and made up. They didn't do anything to you. You did it to them. Okay, just, okay, so I'm going to try to turn your head. You got to, like, make me not, okay? You just got to keep your head straight. Okay, this is called a collar. Okay, this is a shock collar. Okay, so can you hear that? So, whenever you try to think about doing anything, I can shock you. See? Oops, that might have been up too many voltages. I'm sorry. I, I, next time I'll turn that down for you, okay? I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Yep, you're going to bed. But now you're turning back up, okay. Well, uh, as you were doing pretty good, I'll get you your little treat. This. I know, it's a whiteout, but really it's not. It's the sound that it makes. Yeah, you like it, don't you? I'm just gonna go around checking your, you know, top of your head, examine you to make sure there's nothing wrong with you and you haven't been doing anything, you know. Um, but yeah, just gotta go around, make sure you're not hiding any metal parts that could break you out of out of this insane asylum or or injure the other inmates. Just so you know, so I gotta, you know, check everything, make sure everything's okay. You don't got any lice in your hair because we don't need no lice in our building. Um, okay, I'm gonna look in your eyes. So it might be a little bright. Don't mind the light, cause I mean you don't. I mean you're you're a fright, god dang all night. <laughs> okay. See, you like that? No, I ain't doing that for you. Okay. Okay. Your eyes are looking fan fantastic. Thank you for behaving. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking we're gonna need extra patient right there. We're gonna need some extra therapy. Cause that eye is looking terrible. You might need some eye therapy or something. Okay, the back of your head. Right side, right side of your head. Looks good. Okay. We check the side. Left side looks even better. Okay. I have to test your reflexes, so don't kick me anywhere, anyhow. If you kick me, I'll throw you in the dumpster. Got it? Okay. I'll turn this off. Why are you not? You keep turning on my flashlight, but they. Okay. I need you to stand really tall for me. Wow. Okay, just bend down for me, please. I need you to, like, you know, just look down for me. Wow. Um, you are uh, one tall piece of work. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to have to measure, you know, your tall stick body. Why do you have that? You're thin. you got to eat more, bro. Here, I'm going to give you more food than therapy. Because right now, you're looking really, really sick. And I don't mean that in a good way. Whew. Okay, let me see. It's about 11. Dang, you're 11 inches. You're entire, like, you know, you're, you, 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 if you see me, bro, yeah, back up. You see me, look at this. You see how I'm like this? You're the, you're a whole different opposite. You're just an entire line. You're a stick. Literally, you're a tall stick of work. Oh, <sighs> God, if I got myself into working for this place when I have a patient that looks like a stick figure. If I would be a known guy, would have, I would have not signed up for this crap. Okay, so you're about six inches around, which isn't, which is p completely normal. Um, yeah. I mean, don't think you need another haircut, because, like, we gave, someone gave you a haircut already? They just left. Okay, well, um, let me see. I'm gonna have to, like, there you go. You're going back down to your own. Good job, okay. You don't look good. You look pale. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna throw up? Oh no. Um, help, somebody, this patient needs an emergency room immediately. 